every day Sir Topham Head comes to the station to catch his train. Hello, he always said to Thomas. Don't let the silly freight cars tease you. Remember, you have an important job as a special helper in the train yard. Don't forget, he added. Nikulin and Dylan will help you out. Right away, sir, replied Dylan. There were lots of freight cars, and Thomas and Dylan worked hard pushing and pulling them into place. There was also a small coach and two strange things their drivers called cranes. That's the breakdown train, said Thomas's driver. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines, coaches, and freight cars. He's right, McCullen told Thomas and Dylan. The cranes are only used when there's an emergency. One day, Thomas and Dylan were working in the yard with McCullen. Suddenly, they heard an engine whistling. Help! Help! A freight train came rushing through much too fast. The engine was James, and he was frightened. His brain box was on fire. They're pushing me! They're pushing me! He panted. On! On! Laughed the freight cars, still whistling. Help! Help! Poor James disappeared. I like to teach those freight cars a lesson, said Thomas the tank engine. You're not the only one, Thomas. They are in pain, said Dylan. Yeah, and James is on that freight train, replied Nicolin. So he's in trouble. Soon came the alarm. James is off the line. The brain don't train quickly. Right away, Dylan said. To the brain don't train, said Nicolin. Thomas and Dylan were cobbled on and off they went. Thomas worked his hardest. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He puffed. He wasn't pretending to feel like Gordon. He really meant it. Bother those freak arts and their tricks. I hope poor James isn't hurt. Me too. Me three. Nicolin and Dylan said. James's driver and fireman were filling him all over to see if he was hurt. Never mind, James. They said. It was those silly freight cars and your old wooden brakes that caused the accident. Thomas and Dylan pushed the freight down train alongside. Then they pulled away the unhurt freight cars. Oh dear, oh dear, they groaned. Serves you right, serves you right, buffed Thomas. I hope you learned your lesson now, said Dylan. He and Thomas were hard at work puffing backwards and forwards all afternoon. This will teach you a lesson, this will teach you a lesson. They told the freight cars, and they answered, Yes, it will. Yes, it will. They left the broken cars. Then with two cranes, they put James back on the rails. Thank goodness you're okay, said Nikulin. My name is Nikulin. What's your name? I'm James, replied the red engine. Nice to meet you, James. And I'm Dylan. Said Dylan. Nice to meet you, Dylan. Said James. He tried to move, but he couldn't. So Thomas and Dylan held the back of the shed with the cool in it, Dylan's cap. Sir Topham Head was winning anxiously for them. Well, Thomas and Dylan, I heard all about it, and I'm very pleased with you both and the coolin. You're a really useful crew. Thank you, sir. Said Dylan. Happy to help, replied Nicolin. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint, and you, Thomas, shall have a branch line all to yourself. Oh, thank you, sir, said Thomas. Now Thomas is as heavy as can be. He has a branch line and two coaches called Eddie and Clarabel. He pumps proudly backwards and forwards with them all day. He is never lonely. Edward and Henry stop quite often and tell him the news. Gordon is always in a hurry, but never forgets to say Boop Boop And Thomas always whistles Beep Beep 
Then we journey.